So I've finally figured out how to keep sea monkeys alive. These are at least two weeks old since being hatched before they would die after hatching, which is the usual way. Even though I fed them the um, food, the spirulina powder would go stagnant inside the um, container I was feeding them in. And the secret is keep the water moving, keep their food in suspension in the water. So glad that I figured that out. There's Penzance, my last seahorse in the back. This is not the actual, this is just the feeding container. This is the sea monkeys. I've just fed them. I mixed up the spirulina powder, put it in. And this afternoon that water will be clear again. So I'll know to put some more in. So I guess the issue's always been overfeeding and then the water going bad. Or, you know, not giving enough and then them starving. So I've got air lines moving the, the water around, keeping the, the algae moving. This is the junk tank where I just tip the end, you know, the, the shell casings that I couldn't remove, the shells that I couldn't separate from the last remaining sea monkeys because there were still so many in the bottom of the um, hatchery. There were still so many in the bottom of the hatchery that I didn't want to just tip them out. And here's the hatchery. So I don't have anything on the go at the moment. Yeah, so I'm very happy about that. Great success. These are very small. They're two weeks old, but they're still very small because I haven't had a light and I haven't had any heat. Apparently they grow faster if you do that. But now my tiny seahorse can have food. He was captive bred by me and his parents were captive purchased, captive bred purchased.